Pre-orders of the Apple Watch began today, and that makes Apple today's chart of the day. Piper Jaffrey analyst Gene Munster expects 300,000 watches will be ordered through Sunday and will generate $4.4 billion in revenue through the end of 2015. Now, as a comparison, Apple received 4 million pre-orders of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus during its first 24 hours in September and sold more than 10 million during the first weekend, a record. Now, for the debut, CEO Tim Cook wanted to overcome the endless lines that fans have grown used to with any new product launch from Apple. It worked a little too well. From London to Bay Apple stores saw few customers lined up before opening as the pre-order started. Now, the first new gadget under Chief Executive Officer Cook is selling in eight countries and Hong Kong, with shipments scheduled to start April 24th. There are reports that the watch is sold out online and wait lists for it are getting longer. There are already reports of fake Apple watches hitting the market, mostly in China. Apple shares closed Thursday at 126.56. And that's why Apple is today's chart of the day. For The Street, I'm Jane King.